Okay, well, just wanted to provide a quick follow-up video. Uh, if you saw my last video, you know that I took the baffle out of the valve cover, modified it, and cleaned it a little bit. And I was very optimistic that that might help the oil consumption. Uh, unfortunately, it did not really have much impact either way. Uh, interestingly, what did have a big impact was the amount of that green paint stripper stuff in this hose. Uh, so I have some in here with a little screen uh, and also some in here. And when I was, after I cleaned the baffle, I started messing around with that. And you can see I also changed back to the factory PCV valve. So when I started messing around with that, I noticed that the amount of baffle in here seemed to affect uh, how much uh, vacuum could be pulled through here and how much oil. So at the moment I have two pieces. I have one piece about an inch and a quarter or so and another piece about an inch here. And that seems to have provided the right amount of balance between the uh, the vacuum coming from the manifold through the, the catch can and everything else I've got going so that uh, I'm not really seeing a huge amount of oil in the catch can. Uh, after 25 miles I have probably half a milliliter, so that, that's very encouraging, I think. Um, the other thing was I adjusted the valves, and I went back to the W16 EXR. Uh, I decided that the W20 I mentioned in the other video wasn't really letting the motor get uh, run. It, it just seemed like it wasn't producing enough power. I went back to the W16 uh, EXR2 Dinzos, uh, EXR-U Dinzos, and I also went back to the plugs that uh, where I've completely ground off uh, the little strap that comes up and over the electrode. And those seem to be uh, really what the truck likes the most, um, especially in com uh, conjunction with the MSD blaster coil there. So uh, the other thing I noticed was on plug number one, I was getting a weird discoloration on, on the electro, uh, the insulator for the electrode, the, ceram the white ceramic part near the tip. And when I adjusted the valves, I noticed that my number one exhaust valve was cleared down at 8 thousandths clearance instead of the 12 thousandths that I normally run. Uh, so I readjusted all the valves, and what I had thought was causing the uh, discoloration was the fact that I wasn't running a ground strap. So I was kind of relieved to find out that it's most likely because of the valves being adjusted incorrectly on that one, uh, on that one cylinder. So that's some of the changes. The other thing I wanted to mention was uh, in a quest to kind of get a perfectly functioning PCV system, uh, I've ordered a pressure gauge. And I have this little guy from a few months ago. It's just a oil filler cap that I modified with a vacuum port. I'm gonna uh, put this on and run a, a vacuum line into the cabin. And then I have a diagnostic gauge which shows uh, inches of vacuum and pressure at the same time. Uh, I'll put a link to the, the one that I ordered in, in the description of the video. Um, and it will allow me to monitor the vacuum level or pressure level of the crankcase in real time as I drive under different load uh, conditions, you know, idle, uh, cruising, or load, like going up, you know, wide open throttle up the hill. And I think that will give a good insight into how well the PCV valve is functioning on this motor. And I'll relay what I find out. Uh, I'm starting to think maybe the person who rebuilt this block uh, previously and bored it over uh, half a millimeter, you know, 20 thousandths of an inch, might have actually put in total seal rings because it just seems like I have a, a high level of vacuum being drawn through the PCV system. But when I when I put this little guy on and actually run the truck and uh, change some of the uh, hoses uh, going into the PCV system, I, I should be able to get a better picture of what's going on. And it'll allow me to tune the system. Uh, ideally, you want about one to three inches of uh, vacuum under most uh, operating conditions. Uh, when the motor's you know at idle, there's not as much blow by, so therefore you typically don't have as much crankcase pressure to contend with. Um, when you're cruising or uh, you know running near a red line, of course there's more blow-by and that uh, uh, generates more crankcase pressure and you want to just make sure that your system is able to draw that away. 
So I'm going to be doing some some further diagnostics on that, and I'll relate what I uh, what I discover. But just for anyone who had seen that baffle video, unfortunately, cleaning the baffle didn't really make much difference other than now the baffle is clean. Um, in hindsight, I, I had thought uh, the little rear baffle section that I pointed out that Toyota designed, I thought that might be an area where I could put some of that green stripper stuff in. However, I think I prefer having that outside the motor than inside the motor, and I'll tell you why. Uh, in, I have some in here and some in the hose, and it's very easy to just take this all apart and vary the amount um, because it inhibits the, the flow of vacuum in this area. So I think it's probably preferable to have it externally than internal. Uh, plus, I don't want it finding its way around the motor. Uh, I also have purchased some other pieces to maybe fabricate a slightly different little pre-baffle. So that may be something in the future. For now, the next step is going to be to use this, this little guy here and kind of try to get a, a better picture into uh, how the PCV valve is actually functioning. And like I say, I'll, uh, once I get that going, I'll make a video that kind of uh, relays that information. So anyways, like I say, just a quick update video on, on whether or not that baffle made any difference. Uh, the internal one, uh, from what I can see, didn't really make much difference either way as far as my oil consumption issues. Uh, what did was putting the more uh, green uh, paint stripper pad in here to inhibit the flow and like I say, you know 25 miles and it's down to probably on the order of half a milliliter maybe one milliliter So that's right around where I want to get it yeah. And uh, and the motor seems to be running pretty pretty well with the W uh, 16 plus so so that's the latest uh, if you have any questions or anything Feel free to use the comment section below. Like I say, I'll put the links to a few different things in the uh, description. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention was they actually make a tunable PCV valve. I'll put a link to the to the page that talks about that. It's about $100, $120. I'm not sure if I want to spring for that or try to make my own, but uh, I do like the idea that, that it has uh, individual circuits that can be tuned for idle versus cruising. So. Uh, depending on what I find out using my vacuum pressure gauge, I may look into uh, getting that PCV kind of custom tunable setup and running it on the truck. Uh, like I say, I'll put a link to the uh, I'll I'll put a link to that product in the video. Maybe I'll reach out to the company uh, directly and see if they want to uh, provide one for testing purposes because I, I think that would be kind of something that might be kind of interesting to test out so okay like i say as always uh thanks for watching uh like and subscribe if you're in the mood there uh, as that really does help the videos on the channel thanks very much